This is the EXS24 tutorial part 2 and what we're trying to do here is to free up some space on the internal hard drive and to show you where the EXS samples are located on the internal hard drive. Potentially these libraries can take up many many gigabytes of space particularly if you start adding your own samples and installing third-party libraries etc. So as we can see here this is the location of the EXS factory samples in the internal hard drive library application support location. So make sure you copy your library to this equivalent location on your external drive. If we press command I in the finder we can see that this folder is 4 gigabytes in size. So it would be good if we can move this onto an external drive. As I open up the external hard drive you can see that I've already made a copy of this library here. So what we're going to do is drag the one that's on the internal hard drive into the trash and empty it and to see if Logic is still able to locate its factory library samples. So after you've copied your samples to this location just ensure that the size agrees with the size of the original from the Macintosh HD. So here we're going to empty the trash to free up the space on the internal drive. Now what's really important to remember is we do not move the sample instruments folder. Logic requires this folder to be left in its original location. So please do not move or rename this folder in any way. So let's open up Logic and to see if it can locate its samples. So here we are in Logic and we've got the EXS24 open. We can see on the right hand side the media and list area is opened and on the left in the channel strip the EXS24 is selected. And this means that in the library I can see the factory content, in other words the sampler instruments we spoke about on the internal hard drive. So as I select acoustic piano you can see within a few moments once I click on class classical piano the samples load up no problem whatsoever. Now the proof is in the playing. 